Creeplings. Lupus Creepus is back with another episode of Will It Kill Me? And once again, I find myself in the bathroom because all creepy ghost rituals and summonings occur in your bathroom. Though for this one, I won't be summoning Bloody Mary. I will be summoning the ghost of Millicent, a woman who is said to be able to see the future and gain knowledge of the past. In this ritual, uh, entitled Millicent's Knowledge. Now, Millicent is a fairly easy ghost to get in contact with, and she's also relatively harmless. However, she does have a couple triggers that can set her off, and, well, the ritual says she won't kill you, but she will completely enjoy torturing you. And, to summon her, you need just a few things. First off, you need a, a room with a mirror and a sink right below it, so a bathroom. You will also need a small cup. I have a little shot glass here that I'm going to be using. A bowl, like the one here. You will also need a protection item in case you happen to piss Millicent off. And that will be the picture I have here. Uh, those of you who have watched my Three Kings video, you'll know that this is the same picture I used from that. It's uh, one of the, the few pictures I have of my mom, who uh, unfortunately passed away when I was seven years old. And this was always a little favorite of ours. So, um, yeah, I, I like to think that she's watching out for me. And maybe that's why I don't have any luck with uh, these supernatural things, because she's up there fighting them all off for me. But, yeah, so this is going to be my protection item. And finally, my favorite part is you need blood. So I got my favorite uh, lancets here, so I can try to get some blood into this. Now, what's really cool about this one is it doesn't say anything about having to do it in the dark or a particular time or anything. So I can actually keep the lights on, get some good lighting in here. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is you fill the bowl with hot water, just in the sink here and you basically let it go until it fogs up the mirror. Once the mirror is fogged up, you take your needle, or in my case a lancet, and prick yourself. That is when you fill up the small little cup right here with cool water, and you bleed into it. You need about four drops of blood to get this going. Once you have that, you hold the protection item in your free hand. You hold this up to your chest right about here and you say a particular chant. And the chant is, Millicent Millicent, allow me to gain your knowledge of any past event or questions about the future. And while you do so, you close your eyes. Uh, after you say the chant, you open your eyes, and you should be face to face with Millicent herself, who is said to be a woman appearing in her early 20s, wearing a 7th century English clothing. Now, at this point, you can ask her almost any question you'd like about the past, the present, or the future, but it does recommend staying away from anything that has to do with fire or burning or being burnt alive because that is how Millicent was killed. And it's said that because of her otherworldly knowledge, she was tried and convicted as a witch and burnt at the stake. If you do happen to bring any of these up, she will get kind of mad at you and try to torture you. That's where the, uh, where the protection item comes into play. If she does happen to get pissed, you can hold it up and tell her, let's see if you may you hold it up and say, shout, I mean no harm, now you must leave. And that should hopefully get her out of there. But if your interaction went well and you ask your question, get your answer, you can just say, Millicent, Millicent, I have gained your knowledge and I bid you good day. She will then just smile and leave you alone. Uh, at the end of that, it recommends cleaning out your little glass thoroughly of any blood, probably to get rid of any kind of lingering connection. But it says that she shouldn't bother you after that. So, again, it seems relatively safe unless you happen to go the burn fire route. So, that's really about it. I'm just going to see if I can get this going right now. Uh, it might take a little bit for my bowl to get filled. Watching on the bowl the mirror to get fogged up here, but let's see if we can get a question answered and summon this all-knowing spirit. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now. All right, we just need to wait for the mirror to fog up. Okay, creek wings, it's getting pretty, pretty foggy in here with this going on, so I think we're on to our next step. So now I can fill this with cool water. Now comes the best part, is the blood. I might actually have to do this a couple times in order to get the drops I need. I need about th uh, four. Let's see. Dang, ah, that, ugh. That hurts every time I do it. Actually, it was more to cut them. I'll just do one for each finger. Oh. Okay, there's another. There's three. All right. Any of the creeplings who are looking at doing any of these rituals? Always, I would not recommend any of the ones that involve bleeding yourself or anything because it's it's dangerous. Actually, that's a good little thing right there. You don't want to get anything you know, blood related. Okay, there it is. All right. Here goes. Let me review the line real quick. Okay. Millicent, Millicent, allow me to gain your knowledge of any past events or questions about the future. Millicent, Millicent, allow me to gain your knowledge of any past events or questions about the future. All right, well, oh, you guys can probably barely see me, but it looks like Millicent's not going to be joining us today, unless she wants to sneak up behind me. Uh, I really was tempted to ask her about that fire because apparently <laughs> I have to go big or go home. That was my plan. I was going to ask her about the burning and see what happens from there. But it looks like she doesn't want to come. Uh, so my thoughts on this ritual is, again, it relates back to the classic, you know, mirror bathroom setup. Like, you know, Bloody Mary or Candyman, Baby Blue, all of those that kind of centralized just bathroom. And though this one didn't mention it specifically, you know, maybe it has to be done at a certain time, maybe you have to let the lights close, maybe you have to have candles, but as is, it doesn't mention any of that one here. Uh, though my opinion with it is it seems like it's a, it's a fairly new one, and that's one reason I wanted to try it. I haven't really found a lot of information about it, and it was a, a pretty easy and, and simple one to do, except for the bleeding yourself part. 
But I, I get the feeling that this is going to be one of those related back to Bloody Mary. Just one of those spooky sleepover bathroom games that, uh, you know, you can do with your friends and try to freak them out a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I could be wrong. Like I said, you know, it didn't mention any, any additional instructions, but maybe there's something missing from there. Well, that's it for this episode of Will It Kill Me? Be sure to stick around with us, Creeplings. We do have more coming your way. I've got more narrations happening. I'm going to try to get to some creepy games here. There's a few that I want to play. And also, one of, uh, our one of the Creeplings actually sent me uh, a bunch of links to some really creepy motion comics for uh, some Korean ghost stories. And I've been dying to try to do some readings of those for you guys. So be sure to check us out. And uh, also check out our Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Brittany's Pinch, uh, Pinch of Occult Tumblr, which should have some interesting information here soon. And yeah, that's it, Creeplings. Just stick with us. There's also going to be uh, another Pinch of Occult next Friday. Uh, and after that, we should have a very special Will It Kill Me. If we can finish building it, I keep saying it in every video, we have a really cool one coming up, and we have to finish building the, I don't really want to say it, the thing for it, but I can tell you that it is pretty big and it involves a lot of mirrors. Well, that's it. I'm going to try to get closer so oh, let's see, I can kind of, you guys can probably see my face down here. <laughs> All right, creep please, that's it. This is Lupus and I'm out.